god. There. I'm so excited to share this news. Not only am I here to talk about the brand new project that I am a part of, I have also met with the agency that I was saying that I felt so great about and that meeting solidified everything that I was hoping for and it crossed every T and dotted every I with the heart. And I have officially signed with Avalon Artists as my representation for musical theater. I have had commercial and theatrical, which is for TV and film representation before, but this is my very first time having representation in regards to musical theater. Never felt ready to get that musical theater agent and now I feel is the time. Also, I wanna take this moment to say, if there are any questions around representation, getting representation, have my experience and how I have found agents in the past. Have any questions, please drop them below and I'll try to answer them in future videos. I want to be a resource. Now for the exciting news that I am just busting at the seams to tell you about. Some of you may have already seen the announcement on Instagram that I will be joining the super talented, amazing, stacked cast of Los Angeles premiere of First Date. I am so excited to be a part of this project and to perform again. This is a musical comedy. I will be playing the role of Casey. It takes the audience through my character and Aaron's first date where they are set up by friends and family. You just get to see all these silly and awkward moments that come with a first date. As we get into this project, I will get more into my character but right now I have to start from the actual top I just received this binder this morning and so today I get to officially take the materials that were given to me at the first meeting I also ordered a handy dandy thing oh my god I'm gonna break this another half I just ordered this thing on Amazon, so this is my first time using it. Oh my gosh, still no. Okay, this is a joke. Oh. Aha! We have holes! Oh my god, not this one. I feel like I'm gonna break this any moment, so I'm sorry to this product, but I will not be linking this below. It takes, it's like three pages at a time, and it's... <sighs> We received these materials at our first read through and I got to meet the cast and we got to do a nice read through. We now have a week to sit and learn a lot of this material, which I absolutely need. I feel like I could flop to any page and there will be a line of mine, which I'm so thankful, but I don't think I have ever had this many lines. I didn't leave the stage for Legally and I don't think I'm gonna leave the stage for this one, but I didn't have as many lines. It was a lot more songs than it was lines. So this will be fun to learn. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm so slow with learning lines. I have such a bad memory. So it's gonna be a lot of, lot of work to memorize. All right, I think that is the last of it. The holes seem to be lining up. This morning, I met up with my castmate via Zoom to capitalize on this first week of break where we're just absorbing all this material and started running some of the lines. Casey. Casey. So this is the fun part where I get to go through and highlight all my lines, but then I actually have to learn them. I don't find that as much fun. Maybe the way I have to go about this is challenging myself to learn one scene a day. What I have done in the past is I'm probably gonna go into my voice memo and just record all of my lines so I can have this playing when I'm working, doing dishes, doing anything, brushing teeth, doesn't matter, have this playing on loop so I can just Maybe I should play it while I'm sleeping so it can just be so ingrained. I usually sleep with my script next to my bed and I just hope it transmits by osmosis and that's always my joke. A joke that I'm sure my boyfriend is tired of hearing because I really am always like, osmosis, I'm really hoping osmosis, but I just really do. Good morning y'all, coming to you on a Sunday morning. Excuse me, the retainer was absolutely giving me a lisp. Giving me a lisp. Actually, I just can't speak, and that's fine. We'll try again. I have spent the morning reviewing some lines, having some tea, being really chill. So I don't have rehearsal, but I am going to start getting ready because we are shooting our marketing assets today. We're gonna be doing interviews as well as shooting a music video. Being in a show means we're back to rehearsal vlogs. Isn't that so exciting? <laughs> 
I'm living for this. Oh, there's my alarm. Okay, let me shut this off before I run to take the shower. Okay, alarm just went off, so let me wrap this up. My castmate and I decided that we need the support to get through this these lines and just really working through the material with as much time as we have because believe it or not this is a going to be a very very quick process we open in already less than a month so we are moving and we need to just i need to know that material in my deep bone so i can be focused on other things rather than remembering the lines so after the music video shoot i think we are going to take about an hour and just work through those lines and just really get ahead before we dive into blocking the show this week. We are moving quickly but we are moving really well and everyone's so great and so excited to be in a show again and start up these rehearsal vlogs taking you behind the scenes of the rehearsal process going to the space oh my we can't even get excited about the space just yet we are back we are so so back if there's anything you guys want to specifically see throughout this process that i didn't cover at last time in legally blonde and you are very interested in seeing or me talking about please comment and i will address that i will talk about it i will show you let's go Amazing. Now to match it. Oh God, I'm I'm so bad with this eye. Oh, I like feel like I need to turn off the camera because I can't have you watch me do this. It's just you. Heading out of the house with my squeezy and coffee. Something I wanted to note that today we are singing along to a musical track, so I don't have to have like a healthy voice, which is great because I feel a little tired. That's like 90% of usually like my concern is my vocal health and how are we doing, how are we feeling, and I don't have to think about that this morning. I'm just gonna lip sync. We are doing the. We've reached that time with the weather where it's really cold in the morning and then give it an hour and then it's really, really hot. We're there. We are here in that time in Los Angeles. I left my house with a big, big jacket and now I'm sweating and the hot coffee is too hot. <laughs> but I made it with three minutes to spare, so here we go. So if you are in the Los Angeles area through November 14th and December 1st, please make sure to check out First Date. I will also be doing a giveaway for two tickets to this show. I will be releasing more information about that. So make sure you are subscribed. It absolutely meant so much to me seeing so many of you there supporting me for Legally Blonde. And it made that experience even more special. I will make sure to link all the ticket information and dates below. I would love to see and meet some of you through November 15th and December 1st. It's just you.